We are making portraits today. Pictures of people are called portraits. The Mona Lisa is a famous example of a portrait. But because Da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa, she's not a self-portrait, she's just a portrait. This is the artist Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh is very famous for painting a landscape called Starry Night. Landscapes are pictures of outside. He painted a picture of a night sky over a town. This picture is one of his self-portraits. Vincent painted a picture of himself. This is his self-portrait. So today, we're going to make our self-portraits. We're going to draw pictures of ourselves in black and white, and we're gonna make a very colorful background. To start my self-portrait, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on my background. We already have our frame from our Related Arts packet, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my first grade coloring skills, go around the outside, and begin to color. Up and down, up and down, up and down. I picked this golden color, like Vashti from last week, so my frame is swirly gold. You pick your favorite color. Now we're going to use our primary colors to make a rainbow background. I'm going to use my watercolor paint and if you don't have watercolor you can use whatever supplies you have and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake up color and I'm going to move that red right across the top. I'm only going to use my three primary colors and I'm going to move it down. Then I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to wake up the yellow. Cleaning my brush is so important because I don't want to mix in my watercolor tray. And I'm going to start right in the middle with my yellow and I'm going to move up to the red and bring it down. And if I just keep moving it back and forth, it mixes to make an orange in the middle. And I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to wake up the blue and I'm going to put that down there and I'm going to get it on top of the yellow and I'm going to mix and it's going to make a green. And then, here's a trick, if you don't have watercolors, you can use a marker if you go back and forth a couple times and just wet the washable marker and it should wake up a color and make watercolor paint. Now that I have my rainbow on my paper, on my background, I'm going to push that off to the side and let it dry. For my paper, I'm going to fold it in half two times because I only need it around this size, a quarter sheet of paper to fit inside of here. And then I'm gonna draw my portrait on it and cut it out. I'm going to be using a Sharpie um, for thin lines. You can use a crayon. We're gonna keep this black and white so it's different from our background. Here is my teacher example of the steps of how to draw a self-portrait. You're gonna start with the letter U big in the middle of your paper, and then you're gonna do letter C for the ear, backwards C for the ear, and then you're gonna do two lines for the neck, and a letter U for your shirt line, and your shoulders go down. After you do that, you have to think about what your hair looks like. Everybody's hair is a little different. So if you have hair that's like mine that kind of parts and comes down, you would draw the part. Maybe you have bangs that go zigzaggy, or maybe you have pigtails and they go up in, or a pony like this. Or if you have curly hair, you might have a bumpy line that you need to use. So I'm gonna draw my line down, and then my hair comes down to my shoulders. And I could draw lines at it to make it look like more hair. And then you could pick your eyes. You can draw eyes with lots of details, like a rainbow and a circle inside. Or you could just pick dots, make it more of a cartoon. Or you could do like a letter U, like your eyes are shut. You could add some eyelashes, eyebrows. 
you need to make sure you have a nose and a mouth I'm gonna put a big smile after you do your drawing of yourself you could decorate your shirt maybe you have stripes maybe you love rainbows maybe you could draw anything that's about you on there and then you're going to cut this out and glue it on your background. So I'm going to, when you use scissors, you put two fingers in the big hole, one thumb in the little hole, thumb up and bring the paper to you. Bring the paper to you and you're tracing around and cutting out your self portrait. After you cut out your self portrait, you're gonna glue it on your background. I brought up this piece of paper to put down as my messy mat. There's my portrait so that I don't get a mess on my table. I suggest that you find something as a messy mat in your house. And then I'm just going to use my glue stick and I'm going to go around the outside. This is so important when gluing so things don't fall off. Go around the outside and a squiggle in the middle. And then I'm just going to glue it in my background and rub-a-dub-dub. Make sure it's nice and flat and I have my self-portrait. And remember, sign your name. There's a spot up here for your name. And I'm going to sign my name. And I'm done. If you're watching with me live, it's your turn to start your project. At the end of the work time, you'll hold up whatever you got done on your portrait.